I have something special for you today. Uh, we recently completed a project about 400 square meters, about 4,000, uh, 4, 4 and a half thousand square feet in a food manufacturing facility. So I'm going to show you how we did the whole floor. Um, it was a, in the end, it was a self-leveling uh, three millimeter floor. Um, so step one, this is an old building, a damaged building and a horrible concrete floor. Just it's been used for many many years various different companies use this floor so step one is obviously just to prepare the surface get the grinder out and just spend a few days grinding the the, the floor to clean it to get all the all the grime all the all the the oils get it all out this floor also had an area that had these like plastic tiles and once we removed them we had to remove the glue the adhesive left over so you can't remove this with a standard grinding tool. You need to use a PCD diamond tool. So here, this uh, one of my members of my crew are just kind of like he's grinding the he's he was grinding the adhesives, and that's how you're able to remove it. Well, after all the grinding's been complete, you need to actually clean the surface. So you know you pay attention to detail. Make sure all the dust is being removed from the floor. So you have a clean floor, because the next step is obviously we want to apply the primer, uh, and you need a clean floor for that. Before we got to the primer, however, this uh, floor also had this drainage that is going to be used for the food manufacturing. Fortunately, the cement drains were not very, um, were kind of porous, so we had to waterproof them to make sure, so if when the water gets in there, the water will not just fill the whole concrete up with water and humidity and that would le lead to the epoxy failing. So we used cementitious slurry, we coated them twice over to make sure that the uh, drains would not be leaking any water. Okay, so now we're getting to the actual epoxy part. Uh, step one is uh, applying the primer. Now there's many reasons why we apply primer. Number one is obviously you want to it enables better adhesion to the floor but it's also a good first step in order to seal the floor because in this floor especially we struggled with sealing the floor it was quite a the concrete was kind of porous so we spent a lot of time applying a primer and applying a base coat before we actually apply the self-leveling coat um, and here we are again showing you how the whole priming stage went We always like using rollers for priming. Um, it's important to kind of feel the pressure so you can apply pressure to the floor. Helps you understand that the, the primer is kind of penetrating the floor. We're using a, a water-based primer. I like water-based epoxies because uh, they have a, a low viscosity so they can really penetrate the concrete. And they don't have that awful smell like solvent-based primers do. Um, you know, like if you use a, a, a low viscosity primer with solvents, it just smells really bad, but water-based primers don't have that problem. And I've come to find that the results are just as good, if not better, uh, with water-based primers. Okay, so now the next step is patching the cracks. Now, this floor had lots of cracks, and you can see here, they're not really visible on the uh, video, but if you went close, they had lots of cracks. And it seemed that with every coat, like with the primer we applied, more cracks seemed to appear out of nowhere. And then we applied a base coat and we had the same problem. It, it just felt that more and more holes and cracks were appearing when they actually became visible. So this is what we did now. We applied a base coat. Um, and the purpose here is to just kind of make sure that the concrete is well sealed because you want to avoid bubbles. In fact, we also sprinkled some quartz on top. Sprinkling some quartz will enable better bonding um, in the next stage, like before you apply the self-leveling floor. So we sprinkle some quartz, because um, now we're going to get ready soon to apply. So one last vacuuming, very important. You want to make sure every dust, every speckle of dust or dirt has been eliminated, because they will show up in the final coating if you don't. So. Final vacuuming, and uh, we are getting ready. So notice, all this time I've been showing you the preparation, and now is the most important part. We've spent all these days just preparing. 
So here he's uh, added the B component to the A component. Now he's adding some quartz sand. As this is a self-leveling floor, you want to add some quartz sand. We always do. Because it just makes the product more... Um, it just gives it a nicer thickness, nicer viscosity. Um, it's also... it's It improves the resistance of the floor. We've tested that in like lab tests. If you add quartz, it improves the resistance. So the mixed screed, we've mixed the epoxy now. And now what we do is we pour it, we started out pouring it along the edges and using a notch trowel we're just going to slowly start spreading the epoxy everywhere and making sure that by using this notch trowel you can assure that the thickness of the floor will be evenly spread throughout the floor. Um, always use the right size notch trowel depending on the thickness you want to achieve. We were going for a two and a half millimeter thickness here, so we use a five millimeter notch trowel. And here you can see slowly, especially around the edges, you want to do it slowly because a lot of product can end up around the edges. Um, very important step now. Um, it's common to get bubbles when you apply uh, self-leveling floors. So here you can see as the um, spike roller goes over the epoxy, the bubbles are eliminated. So notice the areas that have not been rolled over still have bubbles. The roller goes over and slowly eliminates the bubbles. And you should have someone also wearing spiked shoes doing this. I don't have footage in this video of the person wearing spiked shoes, but you can get the idea. So the floor is finished. Let me show you now how it looks. It's a few days later we walked on it. It looks gorgeous didn't seem to have any major uh, problems uh, of some little dust trapped sometimes in a large project it can happen but overall it looks really good I'm gonna post some more videos for you on self-leveling floors I'm sure you want to learn more um, so click on our videos thank you for watching and uh, remember you can subscribe and get notified uh, and sign up to our email list thank you very much thank you thank you